Hi, it's Rich Heller, and today I am talking with my dear friend, Harriet Zaffoni. And Harriet is not just a friend, she's an inspiration. She's inspired me because she's the ultimate entrepreneur. She started businesses, she stepped into businesses, but also she leads with her heart. Uh, so much of what she does goes back to her community from where she came from. She founded an organization called Lend a Hand Uganda, which I'm a supporter of and many of my friends support. And she's just an incredible, incredible person. How are you today, Harriet? Hi, Rich. Thanks for having me. I'm, 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 I'm pretty good. Pretty You're good. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, holding up, huh? What are we in? We're in week seven or eight now? Seven, yeah. Week seven, working from home and just making sure we go, th we get through this. Yes. And Harriet is currently deeply involved with a green cleaning business. And so we're going to talk a little bit today about cleaning green. So Harriet, yes. a lot of people, when they think about green cleaning, I, I was in a green business for a long time. And so I know this challenge. A lot of people right. think that green is, is not as good. I mean, it's better for the planet, but it doesn't do as good a job. And so I know something that we're always combating when we're in a sustainable or green business yeah. is that you can have almost as good or sometimes even better results with when you're, when you go green. So, uh, you know, it, for all the people who are cleaning their homes right now, what, why do we want to go green and, and is it really good? Yeah, that's a very good question, Richard. Um, so when, if, when I think about green cleaning, looking at it, you know, maybe even five years ago, I was this, I was skeptical as well. I wasn't sure if green cleaning was good enough as the chemicalized, you know, materials people use, mm -hmm. use out there. And so looking at five years ago and we have what we have today, green cleaning has gotten much better. It is sufficient. It kills germs. It will actually, you, you have a better, a better leave, you know, a better way of uh, living in, a, in an environment that is chemical free. You have, it kills all germs. So, you know, the skepticism was there a lot. I don't know how much it is today, but I think green, green cleaning has improved and the materials we have today do an, 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 an amazing job. Well, that's great to hear. And green, we know is by name better for the planet. Why is green cleaning better for our home or our office? Well, think of, think of it this way, you, you know, would you like to walk in a place where you smell Clorox and you can't even breathe and you, you are coughing and sneezing you know, and everything think, you're sneezing. Some people smelling, think smelling bleach is, means it's clean, so maybe. You're inhaling, you know, people, right, you know, for me personally, when, uh, you know, even look, going through the subways of New York City, because they use a lot of, you know, the chemicals they use, and that's what they have to do. It's really a big job out there. You know, the germs are, you know, in, uh, they are, you know, the germs, they are really combating are really big, bigger than just your home or just an office. But even when I walk through the subway after they have just used those chemicals, I just can't breathe. So imagine if this is, this is what you use in your home with your children or even in your offices where people are staying for, you know, for 12, six, eight hours inhaling these chemicals. It's never good for your health. So, the, chemical, so the, the chemical cleaners are actually bad for us. Very you know, bad. I, I, I read a study that said that the inside of the average house has actually uh, got more bad gases in it or more um, pollution in it than when you step outside the house because of chemical cleaners. That exactly, yes. Your, your house is more polluted than the air around you because of chemical cleaners. Chemical, yes, exactly. And for me, I'm talking this from experience seeing the changes I've made uh, today versus five years ago. I used, to, I used to clean my bathroom with these sprays with bleach or Clorox. And what I see now when I walk in my bathroom, I wanna sit there, I can even eat in my bathroom because it smells so green, so clean, no, no chemicals at all, and it's jump free as well. So which green cleaners, I hadn't actually realized that you could kill germs with with green cleaners, what clean, what green cleaners, I can't even say it. What clean greeners, what green cleaners actually kill germs? 
there are so many out there, but the simplest one on the market that, that is so affordable for even for me, as no, not as a commercial business, but as a, as a homeowner, as a family person, I can just go walk into a store and buy is a simple green. I would recommend simple green anytime. It's simple to use. You can dilute it. You can buy it diluted. You can buy it and dilute it yourself. So it's the first thing I would recommend out there. So all those people who are out there saying they couldn't get any cleaners, I know Simple Green was available because I saw it in the stores when I was looking for the Clorox-based cleaners. So Simple Green would, would mm -hmm. you clean your counters and when you're getting those packages in from the outside right now, you could make a mixture of, of Simple Green and spray it and it would kill the germs and it would, yeah. it does all that. It does all that, yes. So I guess, and there are so many other new, you know, and other new green chemicals. I don't really want to get into that. No, no, it's, 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 it's not a chem, it's not a, it's not a green cleaning sales. It's, it's a, but it's, it's interesting to know that actually that one product is very available. So I'm sure a lot of people will be interested to know that. And someday, we're all going to return to our offices again. Someday, yep. over the rainbow, we will return to our offices again, and no doubt the standard for germ control in those offices is going to come up a lot since yes. so many people will have not been exposed to COVID-19 mm -hmm. and, and it's still going to be kicking around. Uh, how, right. how, how does your company address that concern? Yeah, so it's so funny you asked that because this morning I had a meeting with my, my partner over the phone and I was asking him, hey, are we ready? How, how, you know, how prepared are we to go back to, you know, to go back in diving deep because our current clients although they are shut down now once they open up they will require daily disinfecting they will require you know those who have been using us for just one time a week they will require us daily especially if they want their people to stay safe and healthy so we are really working working back to back right now mentally preparing making sure we have the enough support supplies, making sure the gloves are ready, and making sure also we, on, we incorporate a few more new green products that have just come on the market because of COVID. So we are, we are preparing, we are ready. So there's new products, that's awesome. So you're prepared and you're ready. Oh, yeah. And if, if somebody is looking for a green cleaning company for their commercial space, where do you operate and how would they find you? Yeah, so we are, our company our, com our company is, is known as uh, Fresh Air Cleaning Services, and we are located in, in the midtown of Manhattan, New York City. We our offices on Eighth Avenue and Thirty Sixth Street. We we are also opening up a second office in Jersey City, which should have been running by now, but because of COVID, we just decided to to leave that. Probably will uh, will open that in the summer. So we, we have we're gonna have. We have currently one location and we'll be having another location. We, you, you can also Google us. We are Fresh Air Cleaning Services on Google. I think we, we come up pretty, maybe number two, number three somewhere. And we, we also have, a, you know, when you go on our website, which is fscs.nyc, you, you can reach us through there by just submitting an inquiry and we'll get back to you with some advice and, you know, everything that you may, you may need. Awesome. Any final words you want to tell people? Any, any final tip you want to give people before you go? Yeah, the only tip I'm giving people is, you know, just clean. You know, if you don't, you know, some people think that uh, getting a commercial cleaning in is, uh, is not an essential expense they should have. But I think we, have, we all now know that it's essential for you to clean your office and your home. You just your desk, your computer, just get a green, you know, just get a, a spray, a, a, a simple spray with a simple cloth and clean after yourself. Or even before you touch your keyboard, just spray it around, making sure that whoever touched it before you or even yourself that touched it before you left, coming back, you don't want to carry those germs with you and spreading them, taking them back to your kids at home or, or your wife or your husband or something like that. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks, Rich. We'll talk nice to you soon. Nice talking to you. Bye-bye. Yeah.